Hey you guys, this is Shawnee with SPS Hair Studios and this is my client Erica. Hi. And Erica came in wanting color on her hair and she just wanted a basic color. And what I should have did was showed you guys the process of me starting it. I use a brand called Fernisi and what I did was she wanted black. She wanted the classic black look. So what I'm doing on Erica is I did a 1NP, which is a neutral black with nothing else in it, no other color. And I used a 20 volume because I don't want to lift, I only want to deposit. Don't judge my gloves, y'all. Don't judge my <laughs> gloves. <laughs> they are rubber gloves. I am truly tired of spending all this money on gloves. If you're a colorist or a hairstylist, I know you can relate. For one box, it's about 7 to $10. Mm. So what I decided to do was I went to Costco. Yes, Costco. They sell boxes of gloves there, but that ain't what I went for. I decided to get a pack of these rubber gloves that we clean our house with. <laughs> and a size medium. Tell me I'm not smart. <laughs> y'all could keep wasting y'all money. But anyhow, Erica, come on up here. Put it closer to your hair. So what I'm doing to Erica's hair is I'm applying the color in the front half of the section first. And this is a semi-permanent that I'm doing. And I'm pretty much sectioning her hair and applying the color on the regrowth. And then I'll pull through to the ends. Then Erica's going to get her hair styled. Erica is currently growing out of relaxer. Yay! Exactly. As you can see, <laughs> she's happy. We, um, we're pressing her hair and we're using the ceramic irons to flat iron. And she's growing out of a short haircut at the same time, so... I'm gonna go ahead and zush and zush and zush her up, get her where she needs to be for her meeting tomorrow. Erica's a writer, and she is pitching. Uh, is it a film, a movie, sitcom? What is it, Erica? A TV show. A TV show. Yeah. So, just needless to say, why I mentioned that, you guys have to be careful as stylists and be aware of who your clients are. Because we're here to satisfy our clients who are in the mainstream or a different industry as well that has an image to uphold to. Not everybody that comes in our chair is somebody's housewife or baby mama who can't get it right or don't want to get it right. So we have professionals as well in our clients and we have to treat them as such and provide the services as such so that they can bring their colleagues and their colleagues and their colleagues. That's how I want to get my dollars. <laughs> right. <laughs> For real. Make it count. So, as you can see, I'm sectioning her hair a little different than what I would normally section it as for a relaxer. Um, I'm sectioning it going vertically instead of horizontally. And some of you probably like, okay, well, what's the difference? There is no difference. It's just the coverage that I'm taking care of with the amount of color that I had mixed up. So that's all. I'm just going vertically. There's, you can go horizontally. When it comes to applying color, there's no right or wrong in which way you do your parts. What makes the difference is what area you start in, the back or the front. You start in the back when you go from um, dark to light, and when you go from light to dark, you start in the front because of the time process of the, cover, of the coverage for the color. So Erica's already out of dark, so it doesn't matter. I'm starting in the front. But I just decided today to part my parts vertically to get more coverage for the ounces that I've applied. If I had to run out any more, then I would just get more. But this just makes sense to me for now. We're going to hit y'all back in a minute. Just wanted to show you guys the process of Erica's getting her hair done. And I'm starting with the color first. You could shampoo the hair. And then apply color, but I decided to do it on dry hair. Once again, preference. But my, the color that I use, the brand that I use, allows you to use it either way. And it's always best to put a little bit of lubrication in your color, 
which is like some oil so that it doesn't dry the hair out. So I like to put drops of oil in my color or serum when I mix it. So that's a nugget I just dropped for y'all. If you caught it, somebody will use it and be blessed by it and see the difference in their hair, their client's hair integrity. So I'll get back with you guys in a little bit. Bye. Okay, y'all, remember we was um, doing Miss Erica and we did the color. Erica, spin the chair for me so I could catch this video. Spin it slowly. This way. Yeah, so this is the color black on her. Keep going. And Erica, like I said, is growing out of cut. Put your hair down, Erica. Okay, y'all. Can y'all see her? Now, Erica, shake it. Stop right there and shake it. Uh -huh. Now, keep going. We're talking about body here. All right, honey. <laughs> so you guys can see. This is Erica's doo-doo. And this is her growing out her short haircut. But I really think that he's the one. I do. Well, I hate to be the Debbie Downer. But and right now it's full with body. Put your head down, Erica. Let's see that little. Now, see, you can tell where the short haircut used to be at and all that were growing back in. But when she wraps it, it's going to be nice and flat, and she'll have her little layers and dimensions showing. You goody? I'm good. Well, Harlan. <laughs>